Welcome back, Magic the Rescuing fans. Today we've got some Modern Horizons. Uh, what a really awesome donation this is. Coming from an anonymous source. And we are going to hopefully get all the slivers, because I love some slivers, and I love to build sliver decks. There's 12 of them in here. Hopefully we'll get all the land cycle from this Modern Horizons. And hopefully we get some really cool foils, mythics, you know, all the good deal. I don't even know how to open this thing. Oh, yeah, that's right. I figure I've watched enough of these that I would know how it opens. And it's my first ever... Give me that. The chomper. Yep, the chomper. So, here we go. We're going to start with the right side, and we're going to track slivers, we're going to track lands, and of course we're going to track the mythics, and see what we can get. That was weird. Once again, I fail with the packaging there. Okay. These are a little different. They start off with that token and then the art. And then, of course, don't forget about your snow covered. Ooh, and we're starting off big with the fiery islet. Very cool. Awesome. And we start off with one of the lands. There we go. And look at that. First slivers chosen. And a sliver right behind it. That's a good sign. And then... Oh, and then the Tree Folk Umbra. I love that card. That's so cool. And an Enduring Sliver. Two white slivers, first pack, and a Fiery Islet. That's pretty cool. Way to start the box here. Of course, you know, I'm not, not opposed to getting a foil Ren and Six. I think that, that would be pretty sweet. But I kind of love this whole set and have been waiting to open it up. There's that. And then our art card and then a snow covered mountain. And then the nether spirit for our rare. The rare is down here. Wall of blossoms, that's a cool card. Uh, changeling. Man, you just gotta love this set. It's very cool. Look at the Moonblade Shinobi. How awesome is that? A little Spinehorn Minotaur. Very nice. We know what we're looking for, so we're not gonna spend too much time on the other cards today. We've got 36 packs, and I'm notoriously slow. So, we're gonna move a little bit quicker than normal today. I'm going to get past these. It's always going to be a snow covered. And then the Deep Forest Hermit. Another cool card. And then look at what's right behind him. None only than the Lava Belly Sliver. That's two uncommon slivers. We're going to get sli sliver crazy up in here. Okay, Mother Bear. I always get caught on these cards. That's what makes me so slow at opening these these booster uh, boxes. It's because I get so caught up in the cool cards and the artwork and the common slots. and I just love all the cards. No matter the value, I love all the cards. Even the shapeshifter token. Snow-covered island there. There's our first foil. Wait a minute. Aren't we supposed to have a foil on every pack? Fallen Shinobi. That's weird. Honorable Tree Folk. A hollow head sliver. Very nice.
Somebody help me out. Am I am I wrong? Or is there supposed to be a... I thought there was supposed to be a foil in every pack of this set. Now I'm thinking that I'm crazy. Am I crazy? Maybe not. Winds of Abandon for our rare. Tempered Sliver. Look at that, man. We are killing it with the slivers right now. Another Mother Bear. Shapeshifter. Very nice. I really thought that this this set had a foil in every pack. And I guess it's not a master set, so I guess it doesn't have a foil in every pack. There's a foil token on top there, though. That's kind of cool. The Bizarre Trade Mage for the rare. Oh man, that might be, that's the first pack we didn't get a sliver. Alright, we're doing good on our slivers. We're yet to pull a mythic. Every uh, video that I watch of these, one side is always way better than the other. So luckily we get to open both sides. Tectonic Reformation. A nice Blizzard Strix, that's cool. Talismans, the Talismans are good in here too. A Tree Folk Umbra. No slivers in that one, we've slowed down on the slivers. Matron. Very cool. Nantuko Cultivator for our foil. A Force of Vigor for the rare. And look, the Goblin Matron falling right behind there. Very nice. Okay, moving along. Man, we are now three packs with no slivers. We've gotten five of the, I think there's 12 in the entire set. No mythics yet. Snow Covered Plains, the Force of Rage. Remember, we're looking for the blue force, the Force of Negation. That's the good one. The really good one. There's a Lancer Sliver. Very nice. There we go. The Thornado. Watch out for the Thornado. Guys, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, at Magic the Rescuing. Find out all the cool stuff that we're doing. Check out our posts, don't forget to like, don't forget to follow us, and of course don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We love all the support we can get. A Force of Virtue foil, there's a foil rare for us, very nice. Put him up here. And then followed by the Nurturing Peatland. That's our second land. Very nice. And then the Scuttling Sliver. Sweet, we are racking up the slivers here. That was the goal, rack up the slivers. Ooh, Fairy Seer. Very nice, Fairy Wizard right there. Very cool card, going straight into my wife's Una deck. 
She might come over and grab it before I even finish the video. My wife is undefeated against me with her Una deck. Snow covered on. Ooh, yes, there we go. That's the big dog. The Prismatic Vista, that's the best land. And number four in the entire set. Very cool. Awesome card. That's the big dog of the lands. Very nice. Vengeful Devil. Oh, and the Goat Nap. If you don't know my affinity for goats, then you haven't been watching. But this card's so cool. I'm going to do some goat napping. I'm going to steal them away so that they don't get tortured and pestered and eaten. That's my goal. If you guys don't know what Magic the Rescue is all about, we're trying to open up a rescue ranch uh, for farm animals and Great Danes. And we kind of pair together magic and cool nerdy stuff, Dungeons and Dragons and Renaissance festivals all with it to uh, raise money to open up that ranch and become a non-profit. So, any help you guys can give us, including likes and subscribes, is always more than welcome and greatly appreciated. Moving on with the snow-covered forest. Ooh. And if I ever could take a foil land, it would be a snow-covered foil island. Very nice. I will take that and put it up here. And the Elodmery's Elad Call. I don't know if I ever say his name right, but that's our rare. Oh, and then the Generous Gift. That is the best uncommon in this set. Very nice. Another Shapeshifter. Love the Shapeshifters. Because they also work really well with Slivers. If you're thinking about making a Sliver deck, you should always add some Shapeshifters in there. They usually add some cool beef, and they act as Slivers, so they get all the Sliver powers. And a Sisse Weatherlight Captain. Very nice. Ooh, very cool card. Saddled Rim Rhyme Stag. Look at him. That is a cool goblin. Man. I got a Ward Eye Witch. Pretty sure that Ward Eye Witch was from the Lorwyn block somewhere. That's where it was first printed. One of my favorite, favorite blocks is the Lorwyn block. All of them, really. I'd say it's the best artwork. Ooh, what do we got there? Sliver art. We're going to put that up with the slivers. I'm going to sit on top of the slivers there. And the, the rare is the Archmage's Charm. Sadistic Obsession. Yeah, he's super creepy. Another Talisman. That one's of Creativity. We are almost through the right side. And we don't have one Mythic. Kind of crazy. We did get that prismatic vista, though, which... Lots of foil tokens. What's up with that? A Cabal Therapist for a rare. Another Talisman, Talisman of Resilience. The Good Fortune Unicorn with the fiery red hair. Fairy Seal. Oh, there we go. Blade Back Sliver. So far, we don't have any repeat slivers, and we've got eight of them plus the cool artwork. Where are the mythics, though? I always ask that question, and then they start showing up towards the end. Snow-covered island. Oh. <laughs> oh, and you ask and you shall receive. 
Urza, Lord High Artificer. Third best card in the set and our first Mythic. How cool is that? Oh man, that's awesome. The Urza. Very nice. And I want to make an Urza deck now. There's another Changeling, Shapeshifter, Battle Screech. Oh, and a Cleaving Sliver. And an Enduring Sliver. That's our first repeat sliver. That puts us up to nine. Ten if you count the, the repeat. Not bad. Nine out of twelve slivers in the entire thing. One of them is a Mythic now. One is a Mythic Sliver, and one's a Rare Sliver. The Snow-Covered Forest. The Cordial Vampire. How can he be cordial when he looks like that? Soul Heater. And another Cleaving Sliver. Okay, last pack of the right side. One Mythic, a very good Mythic, mind you. And don't forget about that Prismatic Vista. Cards three and four in the set. Yes, there's our rare sliver, the Cloud Shredder Sliver. Say that ten times fast. Bet you can't. Awesome, that goes with our slivers, not with our rares now. Oh, and a blade back sliver. That's another repeat there. Okay, we are now on to the left side. What I like to call the mythic side. There's at least three mythics waiting for us in this side. That's my prediction. Will I be right? Let's find out. On Thin Ice, first rare there. Another Talisman, another Generous Gift, that's good. Oh, and look at that. Talisman, Generous Gift, Talisman, that's cool. And a Sliver. Love to get all these Slivers. I can smell the Sliver deck. Another Sliver, there we go, another Enduring Sliver. I can smell it being cooked up. As we speak, as we go through this, the sliver deck is talking to me. It wants to be made. It wants to be played. Oh, I snuck. Okay, so we got the Bizarre Trade Mage as our foil rare. And here's a weird one for you. A fourth land, but it's a repeat land, the Nurturing Peat Land. Good, I like that. I'll take it. Those, all the lands are awesome in this set, but that's very strange. Valiant Changeling. Oh man, this Sliver deck is going to be crazy good. Another Cleaving Sliver. We just need the Big Dog Sliver, the first Sliver. That'll be the difference if we make a commander deck or a standard deck, is if we get the first sliver. Lightning Eskelemental. The Mother Bear again. Okay, we are... I'm not going to lie, a little light on the Mythics right now. I mean, I'd rather have one really cool Mythic than three really bad ones. So, definitely not complaining. Lots and lots of foil tokens in here. Kaya's Guile. That's our rare. Another Talisman. The Thundering Dijin. De 
Enduring Sliver. Lots of slivers. I love it. There's nothing better than opening up packages and packages and packages of slivers. Unbound Flourishing is our second mythic. And it's not a very good one, but that's okay. We still have two more coming out of this slot there. Secluded Step there. Face Divinity. If you were a sliver, what sliver would you be? That's what you should leave in the comments below. Because clearly, we are sliver mad. Sliver me this, and sliver me timbers. Astral Drift is our rare. I just love the Tree Folk Umbra. It's so cool. And a blade back. Look at all those slivers. They're just stacking up over there. Well, stacking up the lands too, to be honest with you. Very cool land cycle. The pain lands. A scrapyard recombiner. And the scuttling slivers. He's cool. Oh, Arkham's Astrolob. That's a good card. And the Lancer Sliver. That would be weird if we only got two Mythics, I think. No covered planes. Keep on revealing what the rare card is too early. Viashino Sand Sprinter. And then Kess, the Dissident Mage, is our third mythic. You go over here with the mythics. All right, we're now up to three, so we're starting to catch up now. Looks like the left side is the best side. <laughs> and another rare spiteful sliver there. Very cool. First sliver's chosen. Man. All that's missing is the actual first sliver. Foil tokens. Lots of foil tokens going on. The Spore Frog. And a Hall of Heliod's Generosity. Lanoir Tribe. They look tough for elves. Dregscape Sliver. I don't think we have him yet. Very nice. Shenanigans. Alright, we're moving along here. The snow-covered swamp. There he is! There he is. He comes and makes the appearance. The first sliver. Oh, where do I put him? With the mythics or the slivers? He's got to go with the mythics. He's the first. He can't hang out with all the regular slivers. That would not be cool. He wouldn't have it. The first sliver has appeared, ladies and gentlemen, in our fourth mythic. Very cool. Very awesome. 
And that means we're making a commander deck out of the slivers. That's what that means. Woo, that's exciting. Not only did we get a Urza, we got the first sliver. This is turning out to be a pretty amazing box here. And there's the waterlogged grove. That'll be five lands now, but one of them is a repeater. Change of an outcast there. Okay, looks like we got seven packs left. Man, this might be the fastest I've ever opened an actual 36 pack box, especially with all the stuff we're looking for. Future Sight. With the weird tree with the fetus in it. It's just, that's a weird card. Every time I see that card, that's exactly what I think. It's, man, that's a weird card. The Chiller Pillar. Alright, six left. I called three Mythics, but I think there's one more. I think there's one more Mythic. Just waiting. Unsettled Mariner for the rare there. Crypt Rats. Ooh. The Good Fortune Unicorn again. Oh, there's a Lancer Sliver. Just building up our slivers. Building up our slivers for an attack. The Goblin Engineer for the rare. Cool card. What's he working on? That's the question. What's he messing up? Another Fairy Seer, a Blade Back Sliver. Three packs left. This has been a very nice box opening. And again, an anonymous donation, which is always so cool. And if you ever feel like you wanted to help us out with a donation, whether it be sealed product or uh, even singles or decks or whatever you might have, uh, make sure you check out my Instagram and, and uh, shoot me a DM and uh, we can figure something out. But I would always greatly appreciate anything that anybody has that they want to send our way. Starting with the Plague Engineer. Well, I don't think we have that one yet, the Hierarchy. There's a Fact or Fiction, not the T. T Nielsen variety. I definitely think that my wife has, has collected a whole entire playset of that fairy that fairy card. Which fairy card was it again? I always forget the card. I don't know why. The Fairy Seer. Oh, and the Ice Fang Quaddle. Very nice rare there. Sweet. And I love that card. I mean, he's nasty. It's a nasty snake. Okay, last pack. Here we go. What is going to be in the last pack? I've had some pretty cool last packs in a lot of my openings. Will this join it? Starting off with a foil token. Never hurts to do that. Alright, with our snow-covered mountain. Of course, a foil there. That's not bad. Ransack the lab. 
Mirrodin Besieged. That's what we end with. That's our rare. We are not done yet because there could be some slivers in here and we're going to take them out. Or Astrolabe. That is a very good common card in this set. All right, that wraps it up. Oh, man, I'm not even going to count all these slivers, but we got a ton of them. I will put it in the details below. Uh, you guys can check out how many slivers we got. Did we get all 12? We definitely got the most rare, the mythic, the first sliver. I really appreciate you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and follow us on Instagram, at Magic the Rescuing. Check out the links in the details below. Thanks again for watching, guys. And have a great night.